shall we? You know what we hate? Are you asking out of tactical curiosity? <laughs> or are you just <laughs> with me? Bad games. I'm glad you and I are on the same page here. But you know what's even worse? Games that were once good and then were sullied by lame sequels or remakes. This is no paradise. That's exactly the case with No More Heroes, Heroes Paradise for the PS3. Let the bloodshed begin. When the first game in the franchise came out for the Wii back in 2008, we praised it for its bonkers style and crazy combat. Three years later, we're getting an enhanced port that just doesn't live up to the original. What do you say, bro? First off, the addition of cutting-edge graphics wasn't done that well. The game just looks clunky, considering the vast potential of the PS3. Okay, I gotcha. The handling hasn't been improved either. Controlling your bike is still surprisingly twitchy, and the addition of move support does not help. You can use the motion-sensitive controller to steer and slice up bad guys, but it's frustratingly inaccurate. It's certainly not like they didn't have time to finesse these aspects. What a disappointment. Go, go ahead. Plus, the frame rate sometimes drops so low it feels like you're watching a slideshow. I know a lot of gamers out there don't have much patience. Some aspects of the HD upgrade are better than others, and Heroes Paradise features the same colorful writing. You set me up, bitch. Quit your bitching and get with the program. The nostalgia factor may let this one coast for a bit, but after a while, you'll be craving a more satisfying dish. Congratulations. You are certified as the 11th best hitman. No More Heroes, Heroes Paradise gets a three. You're joking, right? Out of five. I just want to be number one.